Last year, October, a deadly Itaewon crowd crush occurred that led to the death of 159 people. The first trial of the Hamilton Hotel CEO was held on the 29th. He was accused of illegally extending the building into the alley in Itaewon, where so many people lost their lives. It's been more than a year since the disaster occurred. Also, at the time of the accident, one side of the Itaewon Alley was blocked by a temporary wall installed by Hamilton Hotel to cover the outdoor air conditioner. Lee denied the charges. While it is difficult to assure that this temporary wall directly caused the accident, it is named as one of the causes that increased casualties by making the alleys more closely packed. <laughs> 네, 그거는 the width of the road, which used to be more than 6 meters, was decreased to about 3.6 meters, so it seemed to have caused significant disruption to traffic passing through the road. However, there's a possibility that he didn't know the wall violated the building line. However, the court found him guilty of illegally expanding a terrace behind the hotel. Lee was fined in the first trial. He was sentenced to a fine of about $6,200 for violating the Building Act and the Road Traffic Act. Also, owners of nearby pubs accused of the same charges were fined about $780 and about $3,900 respectively. Currently, four more trials are underway for multiple officials indicted on charges related to the disaster, including Yongsan Ward Office Chief Park Hee-young, who administers the Itaewon District.